Hey, Sandy here. I am just out of the dentist's office where I've gotten a new crown today. It's actually not my first crown. The one that I had had cracked and I had to come back and get a new one. And you know, I think I'm like a lot of people. I really hate going to the dentist. I like having my teeth and I like being able to eat, but I really hate going. So I was kind of dreading it this morning, thinking, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if this is going to hurt. And it reminded me of a time when I was working in fundraising that I kind of felt the same way about asking people for money. I can remember this one year that I was working on a huge event. It was a sit-down dinner for a thousand people. (laughs) I know, go ahead and laugh because that's insane. Who does that? Well, I did and actually was very successful. But I remember that I needed to make some cold calls to some restaurants to ask for appetizers. And I didn't want to do it because I hate cold calling. You know, I don't really know anybody who likes doing it, but I really hated it. And so I found all kinds of things to do so I wouldn't have to pick up the phone. You know what I'm talking about. That's when that procrastination shows up when you're like, I really need to file this stuff. I need to clean my office. And so I took I took care of all that stuff. And then I finally sat down. And I'm like, I have got to pick up the phone. I've got to make these calls. And I still just could not get into it. So what I did is I went down to the front lines of the food bank. That was at at a time when I was working at Second Harvest. I went down to the warehouse, and I just sat on one of the pallets, and I looked around. And I looked at all the food, and I looked at people who were coming in and picking up cases of this and cases of that for the food pantries that we served. And it clicked together in my head that when I did my job, people had food. When I did my job, people ate. And it was that simple to me. And just that one realization, that one little shift in my thinking was exactly what I needed to give myself the courage that I needed to go back upstairs and pick up the phone and make those calls. Because I realized I did not want to be the reason. I did not want the reason that we didn't have enough food to be traced back to me not being willing to do my job or not willing to pick up the phone or not being brave enough. I was not willing for that to happen. I didn't want to know that some kids were not eating dinner that night because I was chicken. So I went back upstairs, picked up the phone, started dialing. Did I get turned down on some of them? Yes, I did. But did I get some yes answers? Yes, I did. I hit my goal. I got the appetizers that I needed. The event was a huge success, and we generated the money that we needed from that event to fund our activities and our operations. So my tip for you today is... Don't let the fear stop you because no matter what your programs are about, there are lives that are depending on you for service and for those programs. Dig deep inside yourself and find the courage, find the strength, find whatever it is you need so that you can say yes and do your job because you're making the world a better place. You want more tips on fundraising? You can go to getfullyfunded.com or stay tuned on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash sandyreese1. See you later.